Hey guys, me host Superzoro, thank you very much for tuning in. Look at my hair, I am so tired. I have been up most of the night because of Dave Display's model behaviour. Damn you, Dave. Dave set me a little challenge. He threw down the gauntlet and said, make a top 50 list of Marvel Legends. He's already made his list and he's put his video online and we're going to have a live stream on Monday to decide who's got the better list or make an ultimate list between the two of us, should we say, about which of our top 50 Marvel Legends. So to do that, I've got to make my list and it's been a painstaking process. I have sat here for hours putting together the list of doom. And guess what? I decided to do something a little naughty. I've been a naughty little boy. Basically, Dave, I sent David my list. However, he thinks that is my final list. He thinks that is my actual list. <laughs> so he's preparing his debating points against a list that is completely irrelevant. <laughs> a lot of those figures on my list will be on there, but they're not in those positions. So when he sees this video, he's going to be like, what? <laughs> I couldn't resist a little red herring. So, he set some rules. The rules are they've got to be figures from the Return of Marvel Legends onwards. They can't be early figures, which 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 really irks me. It really gets me blood boiling because now I can't use Warpath, my grail figure. And I love Warpath. And I don't like the modern versions. The original X-Force version is clearly still the best. And that also means I can't use Spiral. So I've got to get creative. However, I hope Summers is still available, so hope Summers will be on the list. But it's got to be modern figures from 2012 onwards. Let's do the top 50, guys. Let's do the countdown, starting out at number 50. So coming in at number 50 and 49, we have Forge and then Bishop. 48 is the Retro Wasp. 47 is Cosmic Ghost Rider. 46 is the 80 Years Hulk. And 45 is Stan Lee himself. 44 is the Deluxe War Machine. And 43 is Red Daredevil. 42 is Spider-Verse Spider-Gwen. And rounding it out at 41 is X-23 in her X-Force uniform. Coming in at number 40 is Green Goblin, the retro version. 39, it's Beast. 38 is Tiger Stripe Wolverine. 37 is Cyclops. 36 is the Strong Guy Buff. 35 is the Two Pack Havoc. 34 is Retro Doctor Doom. 33 is the SDCC Tesseract Red Skull. 32 is Mr. Hyde. And rounding out at 31, it's Deadpool, the movie version. Coming in at 30, it's Movie Venom. 29 will be Morbius. 28 will be Colossus. 27 will be King Thanos. 26 will be The Cuckoos. Next up will be Retro Rogue. 24 is Electra. 22 is Monster Venom. And 21 is Monster Toxin. Right, we're now getting down to the top 20, so here's where it gets more serious. So we're going to start taking a closer look at these figures as we count down from 20 to 1. Here we go. Number 20 will be the Sentinel. 19 will be the Red Suit Daredevil. Next up is Entertainment Earth Exclusive. Which one? Gamora. 17 is Spider Gwenum. 16 will be the Demo Goblin Bath. 15 will be the Hellfire Club Emma Frost. Next up is Old Man Logan from the Hawkeye 2 pack. Then we're going to go with a little bit of Angelica. Next up, it's Elsa Bloodstone. 
then I think we definitely need some Captain Marvel on this list, especially in her retro attire. 11 will be the Entertainment Exclusive Groot, and 10 will be the ex the uh, EE Exclusive uh, Rocket Raccoon as well. Number 9 is the Family Matters Scarlet Witch. My number 8 choice will be Mystique. Coming in at my number 7, it's the Days of Future Past Wolverine. If you guys remember the story of this one for me, I was a big fan of this figure as a child back in the 90s. So when this figure got re-released, I had to grab it. And so coming in at number 6, it's Cyborg Spider-Man. We're down to the final 5 guys, exciting times. Coming in at number 5, it has to be... Oh yes, the Fallen One. Silver Surfer, in his darker um, appearance as the Fallen One, was definitely one of those figures that came out of nowhere, wasn't expecting it, and loved it to death. I prefer this colour scheme to the original version. And I just think this one was awesome. It came with um, your Milnor, and it also came with the awesome surfboard and everything, as it should. But it was just one of those figures that I was never expecting, and the face sculpt is just so nice on it. I just I prefer the colour tones to the original. Such a nice Silver Surfer, guys. What do you guys think? Let us know in the comments. Coming in at number four, it's my Thor, it's Lady Thor. Jane Foster's Thor, she's awesome. I loved her storyline uh, in the comics, and I loved her tenure as Thor as well in the comics. A lot of people were against it. It was in that weird time where they started making female versions of characters, and but I, I didn't think Marvel forced it in any way, shape, or form. It did come out during that kind of era where things were going a bit weird and gender bending was becoming a bit of a, a thing in comic books and stuff and in movies where they were changing, you know, roles and things. And then people don't like that kind of stuff when you change it. But I liked Jane Foster. I thought she was a great Thor. The whole, uh, you know, when she powered down, the, can you know, the cancer virus would, would basically attack her body and she'd turn into Thor to kind of stop it and become a god. And that's a really cool thing, and you know, eventually, obviously, she gave up the hammer, and Thor is now the, you know, Thor again, should we say. But yeah, she was a great version of the character, and, uh, you know, definitely a worthy one in her own right. Right, top three time, guys, we're into the top three. Here we go, the final three. Coming in at number three, we have Silk. Yeah, I love this figure. She was she was one of my Grail figures for the longest time. I know we used I know, I know we throw the term Grail around a little bit too much, but she generally was. I, I really wanted the original figure. Then they re-released it with that white one for the fan vote, and that was cool. But I mean, this I prefer the original one. Uh, she's so much. She's so nice. It was one of those figures that I didn't even have to spend mega bucks on. I eventually found someone willing to sell her on the on the groups and uh, got her for a reasonable price. And she's just such an awesome figure. So definitely. Worthy of a spot at number three because I would have thought she would have had a lot more figures by now, especially at the rate of the churn out spider figures. <laughs> I would have thought she'd have had several by now. I mean, Spider Gwen's got more figures than her, <laughs> but anyway, Silk number three. Number two is Hope Summers, and yes, she does fall into the category to be able to use for this for this uh, uh, for this uh, wave. She's from the Return of Marvel Legends, so my number two choice is Hope Summers. They've never re-released this figure, they've never remade her, but she's kind of a big deal in the X-Men storyline. She's the first mutant born again after the No More Mutants thing, so she's like the return of the mutant race, so to speak. Um, and she's just such an awesome character, I love her and Cable's storyline, and me, obviously me having a daughter as well, it was always one of those moments that I always, like, there's certain moments between the two characters that I always cling to, because now, like I say, like I've got my own daughter now, you know, Superstar Junior, and I don't know, you know, I see a lot of me and her in that storyline with Hope and Cable, so, yeah, that's why she's, it's, just, it's more of a sentimental choice, but definitely um, a figure that still holds up to this day, to be fair, the articulation on this thing is still awesome, the face sculpt is still pretty decent, I mean, people steal this face sculpt to use on Star Wars to make, a, to make Mara Jade, so, this head sculpt is still pretty decent to this day. And uh, yeah, I, again, it's one of those things like, if they if they remade it, would I like the remaked version? I've got so much sentimental value for this one, would I even like the remake? So at the moment, I'm happy to say that I like this one and she stays in my collection. 
All right, guys, number one choice. Now, originally, I've tossed and turned with this for a while. My original number one choice was Rogue, but I've got Rogue earlier on the list, and I didn't want to include too many of the same characters, so I didn't bother adding the original Rogue onto the list. I thought, we've got the new version of Rogue. It does look nicer, whilst keep you know it's playing, staying paying homage to the original. But then I realised I have another figure, which is so much better, and she definitely deserves a spot on the list. And she's stupidly hard to get now. Dark Phoenix. She has to be on the list as an X-Men fan, right? She's just so awesome. And the figure is just so good. So, guys, without further ado, it is my top 50 list. Rounding out with the Dark Phoenix. Especially with me reviewing... Um, you know, mastermind this this past week. She's definitely one to have on the list. So such an awesome character, guys. But what do you guys think of my list here, my top 50? Let me know in the comments below. But remember, guys, this is all but one guy's opinion. We will be having the live stream on Monday, which will be the... Monday the 5th of June. We'll be doing the live stream over on Dave's channel. It's David Display's Model Behaviour. Please do check out his top, top 5th list if you haven't seen it already. This video is in response to his slamming of the gauntlet to, to help to make, to make me decide on my top 50 list. To go up against his top 50 list. It's going to be an epic debate. He's, his video was over an hour long, an hour and a half long of him talking about his favourite top, top 50. So I, have now, I now know his points that he's going to make. From, what, from, from watching that video. I've tried not to give too much away here so that we can have fun on the live stream and I can debate him properly. Yeah, tactics. <laughs> it's going to be a lot of fun, guys. So make sure you tune in. Close to the time, I will let you know the time of start and stuff like that. Guys, thank you very much for watching. As always, I'm your host, Super Sorrel. If you're new around here, please make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Leave us a comment down below and I promise to give you a response as soon as possible. And just thank you very much for watching. As always, I'm your host, Super Sorrel, and I'll see you in the next video. And until then, may the force be with you. Bye! <laughs>